Hello! Welcome back to I Love. I am Podan. Today we've got a special Thanksgiving episode again. It's been a whole year, so why not? And instead of eating food, we're trying video game sauces? That's right! 10 Atari sauces to try. A few are going to be kind of hot, but we'll see how it goes. And in case I get a little too hot, we will be using the Atari decanter set with some milk in it to calm my hot mouth. Ah! But first, let's take a quick look at each of these a little closer before we dive in and have a taste. Anyone suspect that I'm involved?
check out all of our sauces we got our decanter filled with our milk in case it gets a little hot you never know and i technically am not good with hot or spicy foods so this could get a bit interesting oh yeah so let's check out our milk oh yes let's let's get that ready for us as you can see here in front of you here i have some tyson's chicken fries right from the grocery store, all ready, all cooked up, because that will be perfect for dunking right into the bottle. That's right, we're gonna go old school, use it right in the bottle. There we go, our drink is all ready. Let's do it, we'll do a smell and then a taste of each one. If it gets a little hot, there might be a cut, but who knows, if I start crying and screaming, it might just be good. So let's do this. First, what have we got? We have the Gravitar Zero G Sriracha Hot Sauce. Uh-oh, it's gonna start hot. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, that does smell kinda hot. Little uh, info for you in case you don't know the sauces inside i'm almost positive are not actually created by anybody at atari or anything like that it comes from a place called sauce shed and it's a place where you can call get a hold of make deals with where you make your labels pick the sauces you like and then you get to sell and then they make a profit and you make a profit much easier way to make money stick your name onto things but i'm not buying this because of the fact that i want atari's significant sauces I want the package deal. It's just cool to have a sauce on my shelf that says Atari on it. I think that is hilarious. So let's go. This one's going to be hot, maybe. Let's see. Oh, yes, the chicken fries work perfectly. Let's see. Mmm. That one doesn't taste hot yet. Mmm. Damn, that's good. So that's the sriracha hot sauce. Very, very tasty. So this one wasn't super hot, but it dang was delicious. Yum. Okay, yeah, we're going to probably hear some glass clanking and stuff. Oh, we're going for the milk to wash the palate. Wouldn't want to confuse my taste buds when I'm going from sauce to sauce. Mmm. Okay, what have we got next? Ooh, Berserk. See, I'm looking at the backs of the bottle, so I'm not really sure which ones I'm grabbing. But check it out. Berserk, that's cool. Right away after purchasing it, we already got some Berserk Atari merchandise. So this one is the Berserk Electric Citrus Hot Sauce. And I did figure out beforehand that most of them are hot, and then a few of them are barbecue sauces. So that's interesting to know, too. Okay, here we go. Smell check. Woo, that smells hot. But also, I'm guessing that that's the citrus I'm also getting a heavy whiff of. So let's see here. Okay, we're dunked. We're dunked. Ooh. Ooh. Pleasantly. 
The first two so far are not super hot, but delicious. This one, I can taste the citrus. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Mmm, so far, so good. Each sauce has been delicious. That one, definitely, you can taste the citrus in it. A little bit of a tang afterwards. The first one was a little hot after the after the eat. Mmm. Yummy. That's two down. What have we got for number three? Ooh. Yars Revenge. Yars has been killing it. Tons of cool stuff coming. The new game, Yars Rising. And of course now, Yars Inferno Hot Sauce. Ooh. Inferno, huh? All right, well... Let's see if I kill myself on this one. There's got to be at least one that's just going to make me make me go, Whoa! But we'll see. You never know. Ooh. Okay. This one kind of has the uh, hot wings smell to it, I think. And that's one that always gets me. So we'll see here. Okay. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. That's a little zingy. That's a little zingy for sure. But it doesn't have the hot wings taste in a good way. Mmm. Man. Inferno hot sauce is tasty. Ooh. After spice... Mmm, no, it's very good. Mmm. Okay, what have we got next? Next we have the Haunted House. Phantom Pepper Hot Sauce. Ooh, another one that spooked me when I grabbed it. Because it's like, I know Ghost Pepper always gets me, and I'm guessing that's what they're going on here with the Phantom Pepper name. But, oh, let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Put my lids here in the right order so I can put them back on. Oh wait, I'm. Ooh, I'm getting some tingle on the tongue now. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. That one I I feel like I can definitely smell jalapenos in it. Oh yeah, and the red and green peppers for sure. Okay, this one might get me. There's got to be one. That's what we're hoping for. Okay, there we go. Mmm. Man, the peppers make it taste so good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, there's the hot one. That's the hot one. Oh, you, you, haunted house, you're spooking my taste buds. That's the hot one. But we're going to go for more. Mmm. See if I can cook myself. Oh, man. Okay. Yep, the phantom pepper is the hottest so far. Woo! Woo! Mmm. Yeah, I can feel that one. It's it's getting to me. Oh, yes. Say hello to the milk now. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy. Let's go for one that'll cool me down just a bit. Asteroids, galactic, hot, barbecue sauce. Hot! Dang it! I guess there's no time to get cool. I guess I put them in the wrong order. It's going to go hot to the barbecue sauce, maybe. But maybe that's okay. Then I can cook myself and then cool it down. Okay. Galactic, hot, barbecue. Oh, oh, yummy. It almost smells like Sweet Baby Ray's. Mmm. And I love Sweet Baby Ray's. Okay, here we go. Yummy. This one kind of, I would say, definitely tastes kind of like Sweet Baby Ray's, but I would have to say the cheaper version of Sweet Baby Ray's. Not hot. Definitely good. You could definitely use that to make some tasty ribs or just dunk some nuggets like I'm doing here. Yummy. Very, very good. Ooh, we're halfway through. Good reminder. 
case you don't know, the, the price on these bad boys, they're only six ninety nine in pounds. That's in uh, English currency. But in America, they roughly are about $10. And whether they are just a sticker stuck on there or not, you got to admit that for $10 only, that's not bad if you actually want the sauce and you're going to use it. Even as a collector's item, that's not too bad. It was literally only, because it comes from England, it was $130 to order all of them and have them all shipped in one big box. And it was heavy, but it's not too bad. If you just wanted one to actually use, it's a good price. This doesn't feel like one of those IP cash grab type of situations, just to slap it on there. It's kind of a cool thing. I like the art, how it rem reminisces of the cartridge. And then the boxes, of course, as we saw before, look exactly like the game boxes, but one side doesn't have the name. It's got the sauce name. So that's pretty cool. Let's get into sauce number six. This one is Super Breakout Jalapeno Heat Sauce. Jalapenos I like when they're pickled and I can handle it, but when they're actually, uh, you know, right out of the ground, ooh, are they hot, 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 very hot. So let's see. Ooh, that's some jalapeno. Yeah, that's, that's some strong jalapenos. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a hot one, I think. Mmm. Whoa. That was a surprise. What is in that? Apples? That's got to be the weird fruity taste I'm having. Oh, and there's lime juice. Apples and lime juice. Weird. With jalapenos? Man, what a cool mix. Man. That is going to be one of my favorites so far. And the Yars. The Yars and this. Oh, man. The jalapeno hot sauce. That is delicious. I was not expecting that. I would say, if, when you read that... It does not taste the way it sounds, <laughs> but very, very good. All right, let's clear the palate. Not hot either, really. Quite tasty. Uh, let's get a little more milk so I can clear myself here. Make sure that I can get the most out of each taste. Don't want to mix it too much each time. Oh, yes, there we go. Clean that off. Oh, this decanter too. Oh, is that sweet. I really do like it. I think it is worth the price if you do want something funky to just have sitting around. Definitely a cool piece that people will ask about. The cups are great. Just perfect little tumblers. The stand is very nice. Uh, the printing on it is very good. You can tell that I, I think it's blown around a mold because you can tell uh, up here that it's actually cut off, but not a, not a big deal. I'm not sure. If, I guess I don't know if it's worth more or less, but I would imagine that the price of it is because it's probably made in low runs. So there's probably not a ton of them, even though they didn't number them for us. But very, very cool. All right. Pong Sports. Retro Classic Barbecue Sauce. All right. This is one that'll probably cool us down. Oh, yes. Let's, let's cool down the hotness. Ooh. Ooh. That smells good. That smells like your, your McRib, maybe, or something. As you can see, I definitely have a very high-class taste palette as I am uh, confirming all my stuff to fast foods and things. Mmm. Very good. Very good. I do like the slogan. I don't know if I said it or if you guys saw it yet. The slogan is ingenious because it allows you to accidentally say joystick. It is, use with joy. Stick it on everything. I like that. That's pretty cool. Mmm. Now, as implied, that one is very much just classic barbecue sauce. And it's good. A little more tasty than the hot barbecue sauce. I don't think the hot barbecue sauce was hot. It was just a little less flavorful, I would say. Mmm. Yummy. What have we got? This one's cool. I like that some of the labels have the silver, like almost 7,800, 5,200 type of look, which is very, very neat. The later, you know, Atari look, which is cool. So we got the Crystal Castles Enchanted Berry Barbecue Sauce. That's neat. What kind of berries are in here? What do we got? We got mixed berries, which are strawberries, red currant, raspberries, blackberries, 
Cherries and blueberries. Damn, that's a that's a lot of freaking berries in there, actually. I thought it'd be way less. Okay, let's see. The old smell. Mmm. Definitely smells way different than the other two barbecue sauces. Let's see. So this one shouldn't be hot. It should be kind of fruity. Fruity barbecue sauce. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's the best barbecue sauce out of the three so far. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. You can definitely taste it. It doesn't have the zing of a normal barbecue sauce. It has a fruity taste. It's very good. Mmm. That would be very good for some, some pork. Oh, yeah. Pork chops. Okay, we got two left. I can see that one of them is hot and one of them is not. So just to be silly, we're going to leave the last one for the hot one. Next, we have Breakout Brick Smash Barbecue Sauce. This one's dark. Wow. I wonder what makes this one so dark. Oh, there's brown sugar in this one. Okay, okay. Chipotle powder, garlic powder. I like me my garlic. Ooh, I love me some garlic. I'm a garlic boy. Okay. Ooh, that one smells. That's a strong barbecue sauce. Mmm, that's for the grilling. Oh yeah, you're gonna grill this bad boy. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's good. That tastes a little more like, like the barbecue shack down the street. Yeah. Yummy. That was delicious. Okay, we are down to our final sauce. And let's, that is the adventure. Mystic Dragon Hot Sauce. It would be really funny if somehow the last one was the hottest, but you never know. I was actually pleasantly surprised that none of the hot sauces were that hot. A tingle or a little, uh, a little zing afterwards. But definitely not like, whoa, or sweaty hot, which I've had. Like some of the noodle cups I have, woohoo, those make me sweat. So I definitely was expecting myself to not be able to handle it. So if you are a person who doesn't handle hot stuff too well, I would say that you can try these. They're not super hot. Okay. Yeah, that, that smells a little bit more like uh, barbecue hot wings or something. But without the barbecue, just the hot wings like buffalo, buffalo wild wings type of hot sauce there. Let's see, here we go. Yep, this is gonna be more like your hot wing sauce. Woo! Okay, yep, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. That one's getting me in the back. Oh, did I drool a little? Oh yeah, yeah just a little bit. <laughs> mm, yummy. I think it's cause it's a little hot too. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, the Mystic Dragon is... It's got a... It's got a bite in the back. Mmm. Yummy. The milk definitely helps. In case you didn't know, milk is definitely a good uh, chaser for hot things. It clears your, your taste palates as well as uh, stops the heat. Yeah, I think that the Mystic Dragon hot sauce was the hottest one. Wow. That was fantastic. And a lot of fun. I thought this would be a neat one for Thanksgiving. I would love to hear in the comments down below, what do you think of Atari branding hot sauces, making a cool decanter set with, you know, the joystick and the cups. The stand is a great little addition. The stand is wood, if you were curious, so it's wood with velvet inside, and then the rest is all glass. Very, very nice. Did you happen to pick any of this stuff up already? Are you liking it? Woo! Had to cut away for the hot sauce. But, as always, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.